But do you believe there is a genocide taking place with the Uyghurs now today in China? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. Today we're going to be doing a reaction video to Jill Stein's denial of the Uyghur genocide. So let's get started. Do you believe there is a genocide taking place with the Uyghurs now today in China? So I have not believed that. I'm listening to my running mate um, as a Muslim who has different sources than I have. So I'm open to, you know, to better understanding what's going on. But, you know. See, this is really messed up. Everyone knows that there is a genocide happening to the Uyghurs perpetrated by China. This isn't news. The Trump administration recognized this. The Biden administration recognized this. It hasn't just been reported on Western media, but it's been heavily covered on Eastern media by TRT World, by Al Jazeera. It's been covered by Human Rights Watch. It's been covered by Amnesty International and various other human rights organizations out there. And we know that China is the number one adversary to the United States. So for you to not know this, forget Muslims or trying to get the Palestinian vote. You as an American trying to be the president, which I don't think you will, you trying to be the president, you should have China on your mind. You cannot win the election simply based on Palestinian or pro-Palestinian votes. This isn't going to happen for you. And for you to deny such a fact makes you look very bad. And you've got Butch Ware, who is a Muslim. And as far as I can see, he has not denounced or he has not rejected these claims. You can't just say, I don't know. You cannot say, I don't know in 2024. You could get away with, I don't know, back in 2016 or 2017, but not in 2024. Great powers do abuse human rights. This happens a lot. And does it amount to a genocide? I don't know. I don't find it inconceivable that there may be some uh, human rights abuse here going yeah. on. And what degree it is, I don't know. But empires do this. Um, you know, uh, uh, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. You know, I think the United States is the greatest empire in the world today. And as Martin Luther King said, my government is the greatest purveyor of violence uh, in the world today. And that's all the more true. So, you know, I. No doubt. I totally agree with you there. America is committing some of the worst atrocities in the world. Hell, killing four or five million in, in their global war on terrorists. But you need to be consistent. And you having your VP as a Muslim and talking in this manner, you can't be supporting a people who's going through a genocide in one place and not supporting another one in another place, especially the Uyghurs. It's in your face. It's out there. And again, I must repeat myself. China is the number one adversary to the United States. And for you to not know this, it's not good. Hey. I am uh, guarded about accusing other countries of human rights abuse and violence when our country is the greatest purveyor of that violence. But, you know, I'm just aware that this comes with the territory of being a great power. On the other hand, I have to say China has not gone to war since 1979. Yeah. So, you know. What does that mean? Just because a country doesn't go to war does. So they're allowed to commit human rights atrocities within their own borders, with the countries that they occupy. So th this is this is good to you. So any other country in the world, as long as these human rights abuses are done in their own country, so to speak. Green light. You've got no problem with that. It's important that we're different. We're dealing with different kinds of powers here. So, um, you know, that, that's that's my impression. I'm not close to China. I haven't studied China the way I've studied, say, Ukraine and Russia. Yeah. So I'm far more informed about Israel, that. Gaza, which you're an oh excellent, you're excellent yeah. on that. You know more of that, that than most. No excuse. No excuse. Now, I didn't need to make this video. Obviously, Jill Stein's not going to be the next president. Um, but I'm making this video because I'm an Uyghur. And I'm not going to let someone of this status deny the genocide of my people just like that i'm not going to let it go so brothers and sisters if you're going to support jill stein because she's supporting the palestinians yani, if you're thinking this is the the least of the evils then go for it but she doesn't have my vote but this is disgusting that's what i've got to say till next time brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh